Hello, my dear grandchildren. I have a nice Shirley Hughes story here to read to you. It's called My First ABC. And we've met these children before, haven't we? Do you remember Katie and Ollie? Looks like Katie's trying to teach Ollie her ABCs. Katie's learned them and she's trying to teach her little brother Ollie. She's done a pretty good job of writing those on the board, hasn't she? In bright colors, A, B, C. We have one, two, three apples, right? A is for apple. Let's see what they have here. A is for airplane. Oh, I have some grandsons who like airplanes. I know that. A is for airplane. High in the sky, an airplane zooms by. Ollie and I wonder how far away it is going. Well, that's a nice summer picture, isn't it? There goes the airplane. They have their little um, swimming pool, little, little paddling pool there. And it looks like mom is busy working in the garden. Oh, and look what Katie has. You see she has a, she has a uh, watering can there. That's always fun to play with. She can help her mom in the garden. She can help water the flowers. Or right now, it almost looks like she's watering Ollie. Ollie might not, might not mind since it's hot out, right? You can tell it's a summer day because they have bare feet and their little pool out. It's a nice, warm summer day. B. I, we know we didn't look at the letters. We've got an, a big A and a little A. We'll look at them each page, how about, okay? There's big B and little B. B is for bouncing ball, bouncing ball. When I throw my big shiny ball, it bounces away from me. Bounce, bounce, bounce. B, b, bounce, ball, bouncing ball. Those words both begin with B, don't they? C. Big C and little C look just about the same, don't they? C is for k -k cat. Our cat is named Ginger. No cat is as nice as she is. Hmm. Well, that's what Katie thinks. Do you have a kitty cat? If you have one, you might think that your kitty cat is the nicest one in the world. Katie likes her kitty cat. She thinks she's very nice. It's always nice to have a pet that you enjoy, right? How about big D, little D? D is for dad who is very good at cooking. What do you suppose he's cooking there? It looks like maybe, what do you think? Maybe a pancake? He's flipping it over. That's a good trick to be able to do. When I try to flip a pancake over, it ends up on the floor. So I guess their dad it must be very good at cooking. If he can flip a, flip a pancake and not have it land on the floor. D is also for our dog, Buster, who always wants to join in with everything we are doing. <laughs> so Ginger the cat and Buster the dog. D, D, dog and d d dad e 
E is for everyone. Here's a big E and a little E. E is for everyone. This is my family. Mom, Dad, Ollie, and me. Having a little bounce on the bed first thing in the morning, huh? I'm pretty sure that's exactly the way that parents best like to be woken up. <laughs> F. Here's a big F and a little F. F is for farm animals. What kind of a farm animal is that? That's a nice woolly sheep, isn't it? Bah! There is a place in the park where we go to see them up close. They can get right close to the sheep and touch its nice soft fur. Looks like a very friendly little sheep, doesn't it? Or big sheep, it's bigger than the children, isn't it? Have you ever had a chance to do that? To touch a sheep or a goat or maybe even a horse or a piggy? Some farm animals? F farm. Around about things like that, isn't it? G. Mm -hmm. There's a big G and a little G. G is for Grandma and Grandpa. They are very special. They often come to visit and sometimes look after us when Mom and Dad are busy. I like to do that too. Spend time with my grandchildren. G -g Grandma and grandpa and grandchildren. All begin with G. H. There's a big H and a little H. H is for hats. H almost sounds like you're just breathing, doesn't it? Hats. We have some great hats in our dress-up box. Ollie likes to try them on even if they are too big for him. Looks like Katie likes to try them on too. Look at the feather on that hat. That is a very big feather. It's got a feather and flowers. That's a fancy hat. And that one looks a little bit like a cowboy hat, doesn't it? It might be a little too big for Ollie. What do you think? H is for hats. I. There's a, a big I and a little I. I is for Ice cream, yay, ice cream. Grandpa always treats me to an ice cream when we go to the park together. See the ice cream truck back there? Katie's excited, isn't she? She sees those girls having an ice cream and she says, Grandpa, it's time for us to have one too. That's a nice treat, isn't it? How about J? Big J and little J. J is for jam. J, J, jam. And jar. Jam and jar. But that's not jam in that jar, is it? What is in that jar? It says, when we've finished a jar of jam, we can use it for water to wash our paintbrushes and keep our colors clean. Oh, so it's water for painting. Katie's really concentrating, isn't she? 
You're making a very nice picture, Katie. J for jam and jar. K. Big K, little K. K is for Katie. That's me. And this is my little brother, Ollie. But Ollie doesn't begin with K, does it? K, K, Katie begins with K. L. Big L, little L. L is for leaves. L is for leaves. In autumn, they turn all kinds of beautiful colors and you can wade through them when they fall from the trees. Do you like to walk through piles of leaves or jump in them? Those are fun things to do, aren't they? L. M. Big M, little M. M is for mom. I love having a cuddle with mom at the end of the day when she reads my bedtime story. That is a nice, nice way to end the day, isn't it? N, big N, little N. N is for noise. <laughs> Ollie's making noise. How is Katie making noise? I see her dancing. But what is she doing to make noise, do you think? It looks like maybe she's singing, right? That's another way of making noise. It makes a nice noise. Ollie and I can make lots of noise especially when I am dancing and singing and he joins in with a saucepan and spoon. He's using the saucepan and spoon like a drum, isn't he? N is for noise. O, big O and little O look the same, don't they? O is for Ollie, of course. He can be annoying sometimes, but he loves it when we spend time together and we play some great games. That's nice, isn't it? Ollie, how about P, 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 P big P and little P? P is for playgroup. I gotta get this back enough so you can see the picture of all the children jumping on the pillows. What fun. P is for playgroup. I have, can we see everybody? I guess we can see just about everybody that way. I have a lots of fun at playgroup with my friends jumping up and down on the big cushions. Would you like to try that? That looks like a fun thing to do, especially on a rainy day or a cold day that's too rainy or cold to go outside. Q, there's a big Q and a little Q. Q is for queen. Is Katie being a queen? She has a crown on, doesn't she? At Christmas, I got a crown in my cracker. Cracker is something you pull and it makes a noise. And pretended to be a queen. See, Ollie's holding his cracker. You pull the ends of it and it has a prize inside of it. And when you pull them apart, it makes a little popping noise or a big popping noise. I'm not sure how much of a noise it makes actually, but it has a little prize inside of it. And Katie's was something she could use to pretend to be a queen. R, big R, little r. R is for rainbow. 
That's beautiful, isn't it? Sometimes when it's sunny and rainy at the same time, you can see a beautiful arc of colors, a rainbow in the sky. That looks very lovely. What else? S, big S, little S. When you say the S sound, it makes you sound like a snake, doesn't it? S is for stories. Ollie and Katie and all of the children listening to the story. Ollie and I love going to the library on Saturday afternoons to listen to stories. You have to be nice and quiet so all of the children can listen, right? Then you can hear a nice story. T, big T, little T. T is for toys. My favorite toy is named Bemily. She is not quite a hippo and not quite a bear. And I take her with me wherever I go. I was going to say she looked like some kind of a dog. What do you think? Not quite a hippo, not quite a bear. Yeah, to me, she looks like a dog. Emily. You. You, big U and little U. U is for umbrella. You can hardly see the children under that big umbrella. Ollie and I have found a really good place to hide. They're under the umbrella. <laughs> v, big V, little V. V is for vacuum cleaner. Looks like mama and daddy are working on cleaning the house that day. Are the children helping? They're playing or they're cleaning up their toys. I'm not sure which one. Vacuum, the vacuum cleaner, sorry. It vroom, vroom, vrooms when dad cleans the carpet. Those are all V words, aren't they? Good to help clean the house. W, big W and little W. W is for wellies. Now, we don't usually talk about wellies, but wellies are these special kind of boots. And you probably have some kind of boots that are good for going out in the snow or the mud, right? Well, in England, where this book is from, they call them wellies. So W is for wellies. Ollie and I need our wellies when we go out and splash in puddles. That's a good idea so they don't get their shoes all wet and messy, right? X, big X, little X. X is for kisses. Mom, Mom gave me an extra special kiss when I gave her a birthday present all wrapped up in pretty paper. That was thoughtful of Katie, wasn't it? I bet that made her mama feel, feel very happy. Y, big Y and little Y. Y is for yellow. <laughs> yellow is the color of sunshine and custard and my favorite summery dress. Z. Sorry, big Z, little Z. Z is for z. Sometimes people say that's the noise that people make when they're sleeping. Now it's sleepy time. Good night, everyone. 
See Ollie sleeping in his crib. And there's Katie sleeping in her bed and her little Bemily has a, a bed too. Good night, children. All right, I hope you enjoyed that story. I love you.